comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. money. <laughs> Hello YouTube, here is the four hatchlings that made it out of my eight eggs. I know it's not real good odds, but due to some errors on my part, and at the very beginning I lost three eggs, which gave me five good ones. Um, the one egg that I was worried about still hasn't came out, and I think he's on his last on his last uh, I guess leg last leg there you go he's on his last leg I don't know anyway this is what they look like right here I mean they look very plump and healthy oh yeah definitely gonna be pink until they shed out but Anyway, and quite a bit of vermiculite on them. Yeah, what's this spot? Right here. Mm -hmm. That's where their umbilical cord was. Mm. Yeah. That white should fall off once once it dries out. But, Get you? No, scared me. Close? Jerk back. Oh. Well, that's what they do. They're scared. They're babies. They don't know. It's okay. Let him. Let it go down in there. Just sit it down. That's all you gotta do. There you go. Anyways, uh, make sure y'all go back and look at the, uh, 100 subscriber giveaway video, uh, like, comment, tell me that you're done, and one of these beauties can be yours. It is a normal 50% hat pie is what I'm going to call it. Who knows with the other three eggs that I had to throw out, and they could have been pied, so who knows. They could be 100% hat pies, or no, I take it back, they could have been either 66% hat pied or I'm going to call them 50% so um, if I'm if I'm wrong on that it was two it was a 100% hit to a possible hit so if anybody knows what that makes these babies odds that's what it is I don't I think all there is is 50%, 66, and 100, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if there's like 33% hit, you know, I'm not sure. I've never seen one, never heard of one. But, anyway, these are, these are my babies. Anyway, uh, the other three are already sold, by the way. So, that's always a good sign. A lot of people have trouble selling normals. I got rid of mine pretty easily. One guy's wanting a female. Hopefully one of these are a female. I'll sex them after they shed, of course. But I'm not trying to get rich off of them by no means. I told the guy $25 a piece. Uh, he's taking one that's a female, if it's a female. And, uh, Another girl in Frankfurt's taking one. One is the giveaway, and another girl that I work with is taking one. So all four are gone. I figured, I thought maybe I'd have one extra. But I'm gonna post another video later on this other egg. That's back here. I'm gonna try to leave it alone for now. It is still alive, but barely. Maybe it'll start absorbing the yolk sometime soon but 
I'm, I'm fairly sure that if these are like this and they're ready to go, you know, they just need to shed and they'll be on their own after the, after they shed. Then that the other snakes should be right with them because they were incubated the same way. It was a smaller egg, but who knows? It may have had issues or something. It may have moved inside the egg or. I don't think it rolled or anything, but these things happen. It's not about just, it's not all about the good. There's bad that goes along with it, and this is a classic example. When you start out, you know, especially it's a learning experience, and I'll definitely be ready for my next clutch. You know, I didn't know, I thought it had to have airflow and stuff inside the egg box. I was mistaken. So I tried to put a thermometer and humidity detector inside the egg box with them. So I want to know what the humidity was inside of it. But the thing that the key is is sealing that, sealing that box up, making sure that no humidity can get out. Get, use glad press and seal, and you're you're golden. As soon as I switch to that. I think it was about a week after they hatched or were laid that uh, these five plumped right back out. You know, they absorbed the moisture and plumped right back up. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure uh, you click subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.